Here comes the flight crew now. Commander Dick Scobie, followed by Mission Specialist uh, Judy Wesley, Ron McNair, and, uh, Pilot Mike Smith, followed by Krista McCollough, Teacher in Space, and, uh, Ellison Onizuka, and Payload Specialist Greg Jarvis. Big smiles today. On January 28, 1986, I, along with my classmates and thousands of students from around the country watched as Space Shuttle Challenger prepared for liftoff. STS-51L was going to be a special mission. It would carry the first civilian astronaut, Krista McCulloch, who would be teaching science lessons from space. We counted down to zero with the public service announcer and cheered as the behemoth of a machine cleared the tower. Then, 73 seconds later, we watched it explode. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. We have main engine start. 4, 3, 2, 1, and liftoff. Liftoff of the 25th Space Shuttle mission, and it has cleared the tower. RSO reports vehicle exploded. Copy. Oh no, Stephen, they're, Charlie, they're all gone. Their vehicle exploded. Lock it down.
Okay, what is that we're seeing? We can see SRV parachutes. Forget that. Forget that. There's no shoots in the orbiter. Final flight. Go ahead. Did the RSOs have an impact point? Stand by. There's something on iTech. I don't know what it is. It looks like a shoot. No, we don't want to see shoots. It'll get that. We know what that is. Oh, we got it on three too, but we don't want to shoot that. Show that. I mean, it. It's a false impression. Late this afternoon, the space agency officially confirmed what had been frighteningly apparent from the beginning: that no one had survived. And I want to say something to the school children of America who were watching the live coverage of the shuttle's takeoff. I know it's hard to understand, but sometimes painful things like this happen. It's all part of the process of exploration and discovery. It's all part of taking a chance and expanding man's horizons. The future doesn't belong to the faint-hearted. It belongs to the brave. The Challenger crew was pulling us into the future, and we'll continue to follow them.